I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. Today, we're going to smash this pumpkin. A couple of other YouTubers made some videos where they smashed fruits and vegetables, or tried to, but it didn't work out that well. Uh, I think they tried their hardest, but uh, I wasn't really impressed by the swings. So uh, we're not going to pull any punches. I'm a big guy. I work out. And I think I can smash this. Um, some weapons are very light, and I don't think that they're going to hurt this, but there's other weapons that I've run across that I think are heavy enough to break this, and that's what we're going to see. I'm not mentioning any names, any manufacturers. I'm just going to swing the swords, and we're going to see if one of them breaks through this pumpkin. Uh, it's late in the year. This pumpkin was outside, so it's kind of frozen. I think that that's actually going to make it harder to break, but we'll give it a shot. And uh, if my hypothesis is correct, as we go up sort of the stiffness of the blades into some of the different manufacturers, I think at least one of them is going to get through this thing. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'm actually going to turn it sideways because I don't want to catch this with the blade and break it. In fact, I might just break that off right now because I don't want to rip any of the swords. The goal is just to break through the pumpkin. So let's do that. I think probably a straight on hit is going to be my best bet, so let's give it a shot. Starting with what I feel is the lightest weapon and the uh, softest foam, it's going to give it a really, really good hit. And we'll see, maybe some of these swords will even break, who knows. So no damage to the sword, but no damage to the pumpkin either. Let me give it another whack. No, came out okay, so this one, can't break it. Nothing. Now we're moving into the heavier weapons. Nothing. This is what I view to probably be the heaviest, or if not second heaviest and most firm weapon that I own. Let's go ahead and give this one a shot. I think this one might, might cause some damage. Let's see. I'm actually really surprised at that. I thought that that might, uh, might do something. Last one, let's give it a try. Well, either this pumpkin is frozen solid or these weapons actually are really safe. Let me go ahead and uh, spin this around a little bit and uh, give it one more try. Uh, I don't know. This pumpkin seems pretty solid. I think I'm actually going to just go try punching it and see what happens. Ow! Fuck! I think this thing's frozen solid. We might have to try this uh, after it thaws out. Ow! Yeah, that's a tire iron.
Yeah, that's frozen. So as far as I'm concerned, you know, these weapons are pretty safe. I mean, I'm hitting this as hard as I can. I think the pumpkin is a little frozen, but uh, I mean, the swords aren't breaking. The pumpkin's not breaking. There's not even any marks even on like the, the skin of it. So it just goes to show that these latex weapons, they really are safe. And I mean, even if you got hit as hard as someone could hit you with them, it might hurt, it might bruise, but you're not getting seriously injured. Uh, so just something to keep in mind. If you run a game, you're thinking twice about latex weapons or you're unsure of the safety of them. I think that uh, no matter what the brand, even if they're heavier or more solid feeling, at the end of the day, they cushion the blow and uh, the impact is just not that strong. So, something to consider. If you liked the video, click like, subscribe, and uh, as always, adventure on. I'll do.